you are given a uh, beam with a simple support on the left and a roll on the right and then in the middle one third there is a U UDL of little W kilonewton per meter length and then at the middle of the left one third there is also a given concentrated row P and you are required to find out the bending moment shear force at this point this point and this point three points okay so step one uh, as usual, you calculate the reaction R1 and R2 and the horizontal reaction is obviously zero because there's no horizontal force acting on the beam. So uh, vertical equilibrium tells you that R1 plus R2 is that's going up is balanced by something coming down uh, P plus this is the little w times the length here which is L over 3 and here so L over 3 okay and then you consider rotation about any one point so let's pick this point okay and consider rotation about the left end so P times the distance from the left end is L over 6 and that will give you a clockwise moment and then plus this W the total of due to this UDL is W times L over 3 and then this total O is acting at the center of the beam which is L over 2 from the left support and then those two clockwise movement will be balanced by the anti-clockwise movement due to this R2. Okay, so that equal to R2 times L. So right away you can tell from the rotational equilibrium R2 it's simply um, PL over 6. This is again so PL over 6 plus um, WL over 6, right? And then divided by L, so this is gone. Okay, right? So that's R2. And from this, you calculate out 1, and that will give you out 1 is simply um, P plus WL over 3 minus P over 6 plus WL over 6 okay so that will give you 5P over 6 um, minus um, WL over Six plus okay right so that's your R1 and that's your R2 and then in the second step you try to find out bending moment and shear force at these three points so I'll just yeah, go over one of these points let's say uh, I try to find out the bending moment and shear force at this point so I chop the beam here into a two house and then I consider the left or the right. Okay, so let me just consider the right which looks a little bit simpler because on the right side there's no concentrated load here. So I take the right side and then I draw my uh, bending moment, uh, I draw my free body diagram. Positive uh, bending moment or second moment here and then my positive shear force there and then my distributed load here which is uh, the distance here is L over 6 and the distance there it's L over 3 and then that's my reaction and from the first uh, step number 1 
Uh, that reaction is actually PO46 uh, plus WLO46. Okay, so you try to find out the bending moment there, and the shear force there is very easy. So you set up your vertical equilibrium, right? So F minus that's lead to W, W times L over 6, that's plus, that's minus, and that's plus P over 6 plus WL over 6, and they add up to 0. So F it's simply W over 6 minus W over 6, so it's just P over 6. Okay, and then you can see the rotation. So let me just write it here. Rotation, rotation about uh, let's say this point. Okay, so M. That's a clockwise, and then there will be a moment due to the uh, distributed low, which is also clockwise. So it's in the same direction of M. So W times L over six. That's the total low here and it's acting at the center so it's L over 12 from the left end so L over 12 here and then you have a uh, a uh, anti-clockwise moment so that is balanced by the anti-clockwise moments due to the reaction and this one and so this force times the distance here is L over 2 okay so that will give you the moment, which is uh, um, P uh, L over uh, 12 plus WL squared over 12 minus this WL squared over um, 72. So if you simplify a little bit, that will give you P L over 12 plus um, this is uh, so 5 over 72 right so that's the moment at the at this uh, center of your beam and the shear force is there